Ken Starr unexpectedly died today, the same Ken Starr who viciously went after Bill Clinton over his sex life uh, and attempted to destroy his political career. And to be fair, there were a lot of other things that his political career could have been destroyed by. But the uh, Bill P Clinton impeachment had Ken Starr, of course, front and center. Starr later went on to be a Donald Trump lackey, which uh, Jenk has some more details on. So Jenk, take it away. Uh, tell us a little more about Ken Starr. Um, and, you know, his uh, tragic yeah. passing. So uh, tragic, really tragic. Uh, so uh, and, you know, look, uh, he wrote a report about Bill Clinton and it was about Whitewater. So it was all about real estate and land in Arkansas. Oh, right. It was supposed to be about that, but it wasn't about that at all. It just turned into a report about Clinton's sex life. And then Republicans giggled and went, <laughs> we did beat him and beat him sex. We got him for sex. Sex for what? what, what is that a crime? He cheated on his wife. Is that a crime? Well, he lied about it. Why didn't he just admit it uh, the minute anybody asked him? Uh, because that's not how affairs work. Uh, then, uh, by the way, at the end of the note of that report, the Ken Starr report, asterisks, by the way, Clinton did not do whitewater. Oops. OK, so that's who the Republican hypocrites are. And then I thought when Trump was getting impeached, that Ken Starr would have the decency to at least hide in a cave. I mean, given that Trump was impeached a couple of times for massive violations of democracy, uh, our form of government, uh, helping foreign countries, holding up aid to other countries so, so he can get uh, what he wants politically against his opponent. No, Ken Starr jumps in there and goes, oh, oh yeah, that's terrible. I can't believe they didn't beat him for that. Are you joking? Well, and in, so in, Ken Starr, was a, his entire life was a giant joke. And the fact that he passed away today does not erase that at all. Anyone kissing his ass today is being ridiculous. He was a terrible person. Absolutely. I agree with you 100 percent on that. Uh, I don't think that someone simply passing away uh, erases the harm that they've done to both the country and to individuals who were victimized by people like, say, Jeffrey Epstein, who he served as the defense attorney for. In fact, uh, Starr's role in negotiating that deal was already public knowledge. But Miami Herald reporter Julie Brown claimed in her book, uh, Perversion of Justice, that Starr was involved in campaigning to pressure the justice. Justice Department to drop the case. And when Epstein was initially investigated and prosecuted for his role in, uh, you know, victimizing underage girls, uh, you know, he got involved. And of course, as his defense attorney, uh, f as the defense attorney for Epstein, what he did was essentially cut that sweetheart deal that got him off. Uh, and so he was able to go on to victimize other underage girls uh, through uh, the Terrible stories we heard about. We know. We don't need to detail yeah. them again. But that's who Ken Starr was. Yeah. So one, one more thing on, on what a terrible, terrible person Ken Starr was. He claimed that he had, oh, my God, I can't believe, I, I asked every nook and cranny of his sex life and what fetishes he had and where he actually ejaculated. Like, literally, that was a part of the investigation. And because I care so much about potential wrongdoing around sex. Okay. Meanwhile, Jeffrey Epstein, how can I help you? Can you give me money to help you molest little kids? Oh, I love it. I'm ready to do it. He was not a publicly appointed lawyer. He chose to represent Epstein because he's a disgusting guy. But that's not all. He then later went on to become head of Baylor University, where there was a massive controversy around the football team and sexual assault allegations against young women. And what did he do? He covered it up. And he had to resign in disgrace for covering it up. Because for Republicans like Ken Starr, it doesn't have anything to do with sex or something being immoral or something being wrong to do or indecent. It, everything is politics. Oh, just blame the left for everything. Blame Democrats for everything. And then behind the scenes, do it all yourself and it, help others do it. That's who Ken Starr was. He was. His legacy will be as one giant hypocrite and a disgusting individual. And death does not cure any of that.